Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel, like or dislike this video and activate the notification bell. Guys, I did you a full version of this video, okay? I don't know if it's going to be posted before or after. A full version. This is a full version. This is just like the non-niche. This is designer. I have two Arabic perfumes and one Zara, okay? So we're going to do that, guys. And I am rushing somewhere. How am I going to get there? I don't know, guys. I don't know, okay? So, uh, let's start. This, guys. Black Opium. Le Parfum. Okay, this one. Not the other ones. The other ones smell too common and cheap. I also like the over red one, the new one, uh, the cherry one, but it's giving me too much like Nespresso seasonal uh, coffee that was badly seasoned. You know what I mean? Like they did once a rose one or something like that and I thought it was absolutely vile. It gives me kind of like they tried too much. This one probably worked very well and I'm not a fan. Let me tell you the main accords of this one. I wear this a lot, guys, these days. I don't know why. It's so comforting. It's amazing. I love it. Main accords. Vanilla, warm, spicy, coffee, sweet, white floral, powdery, cinnamon, balsamic. This one is less sweet than the other versions. It's extremely strong. It smells like vanilla with some white florals, uh, with some patchouli that I don't mind here. Uh, that I don't mind here. It actually gives it more of a... Um, it does smell also like coffee to me and uh, the patchouli actually gives it less of a childish vibe and this one to me is by far like 10 times better than uh, the, the main uh, black opium, okay? So yeah, definitely recommend that. Uh, I really like it. I want to get the over red just so I have because they're very similar in my opinion but this one in my opinion is better. Uh, okay, guys, my signature scent at the moment, uh, I am wearing right now the, um, okay, this is L'Interdit Givenchy. And guys, as you can tell, I really was against patchouli for years, and now I am all for it, I like it. Now I like patchouli. Uh, so, uh, let me read you the main accords. Uh, so, white florals, tuberose, sweet, woody, citrus, patchouli. Vanilla, uh, fruity, animalic, earthy. Guys, this smells intoxicating. This smells like a diva, a bad bitch. I thought that uh, this perfume was like kind of recent, meaning like uh, that it was released in the last um, 10, uh, 12 years. It's actually very... It, Audrey Hepburn was wearing it, or Sophie Loren, don't remember. It is actually a vintage scent. It smells toxic, you know? Like a toxic wild bitch. Okay, maybe not wild. Remove the wild. Like a tox toxic bitch, yeah. Not wild. Okay, this is amazing. Right now I am wearing um, the black one. Not the new one, but the black one, the new one. I love it too. I will... I don't know. I already have four versions. And they do kind of still have the same DNA. My favorite one is this one, the original recommended the patchouli gives this toxic it, it smells like poison you know what i mean not like like poison you know like intoxicating amazing bad beach perfume amazing and actually i i am quite commercial huh, in this video then guys uh ysl libre this is the original i really like it i smelled it the other day i was like wow it's c Ugh, I like it. Main accords. Uh, white floral, citrus, lavender, vanilla, aromatic, sweet, powdery, animalic, woody, musky. This is one of the first... First time I tried it, I did not like it. Uh, I thought it was too commercial, but... Guys, oh, by the way, I wanted to talk to you about something. I changed my mind about designer perfumes. How do I turn it? Uh, for uh, years, I thought that all designer perfumes smelled the same. Now they also went up in price a lot, which I hope explains what I'm gonna say next. Designer perfumes are actually coming out with really, really good things at the moment. I am even more into designer perfumes at the moment than I am into niche. 
which is really strange for me to say, but I feel like there is a lot new good releases, and I'm even maybe planning from now, it just came in my head, to do a new release ratings, because two years ago, I would say, smells boring, smells shit, smells like everything, but I would say the last bad one was Pro uh, Prada Parad. I don't want to bad mouth it, okay? It's not a bad perfume, but it is quite... Look, I have a girlfriend of mine who wears it. I'm not gonna... I take back what I said. But, um, yeah. Like, I, since a year or so, there are actually very good uh, designer perfumes. Guys, it's amazing. Also, to put the lavender in here. It's also not too feminine, sweet, girly. And I love the bottle, okay? I have uh, three of those. This one is my favorite, the original. The Eau de Parfum. Um... I, my favorite bottle, okay, because they still have the same DNA. My favorite bottle is the one of the one that's silver and gold because I think that mixing silver and gold jewelry is vibes. And I just li love this mix of silver and gold, okay? But otherwise, a nice uh, lavender kind of vanilla aromatic perfume, okay? Very, very nice. But usually, um, lavender makes perfumes smell less sweet but here no it's sweet it's good it's um niche niche more niche used notes blended in a way that's likable by everyone then guys love this oh my god this is my baby look how much i used already i have it since last week uh so scandal love it it is a milky tuberose a raspberry perfume with a little bit of orange blossom it just smells edible, sexy, girly, fun, just amazing. I, this is my favorite scandal uh, with the red one, with the Le Parfum, but this one I prefer it even. So white floral, fruity, sweet tuberose, lactonic, animalic. It smells amazing, just amazing. If you like milky perfumes, milky tuberose, guys, if you like that, go for this, okay? It's kind of like... Um, the more girly little sister of this. This is the mother, this is the more girly sister. You know what I mean? The mother. Okay, I, go I got mixed up. I'm getting my period soon. I'm a little bit like all over the place before my period. And I drink way too much caffeine. So yeah, hang on with me. Then, guys, this... Okay, I prefer the Eau de Toilette, but this is amazing. This is Hypnotic Poison Eau de Parfum from Dior. I really, really like it. The main accords are vanilla, sweet, so spicy, almond, white floral, nutty, fruity, balsamic, amber. It is an extremely well-blended vanilla floral perfume. Only problem here is licorice. I don't like licorice personally. Probably in two months it will be my favorite note, according to... Uh, I, honestly, note-wise, I am as straight as a roundabout at the moment. I, I change my mind all the time. But yeah, this is extremely good. It smells really classic, but sexy, boudoir kind of vibe. Very nice. Re recommended. Uh, what did I want to talk about? Guys, I wanted... Should I talk about this or not? Nah. I'll keep uh, fashion for another video. Because I'm extremely mad with the fashion now. Okay, let's talk about it a bit. I was talking about someone who, with someone who works in fashion in Lausanne. Guys, Lausanne in Switzerland is clearly not known for fashion, okay? I am more known for literature than fashion. Then Lausanne is for fashion. Yes, definitely. But someone who works in fashion told me that high heels are out of fashion. Okay, look, I can understand that low socks are really like out of fashion, you're not allowed to wear them anymore. This I got it, no problem. But heels, I feel that the fashion now for women, no, and I don't follow it, uh, I don't care. Me without heels is not me, okay? I love my heels. I like also flats, but I love my heels. But guys, I, and I like the wide pants, that the wide jeans that are in fashion. This is one of my looks now. Little tops that are really tight, the wide jeans and heels. But apparently you should wear this with trainers, which leaves you with the nine-year-old boy's outfit. And I'm not really for it. 
Tell me in the comments, guys, what trends at the moment you love and what trends at the moment you hate. And do you wear... What is a no-go for you? The socks, short socks, now it's true that I became judgy when I see people with short socks. Because apparently it's a, absolutely a no-go. And I like to follow fashion, but what I think is that, guys, it's not normal that something that was in fashion in uh, January 2024 uh, is not in fashion in S September 2024. This is not normal. At least, like, leave it for five years. It's nice to buy clothes, change style and all of this. It's all fun. But I have to admit, like, fashion is not... I'm strong in a lot of things, you understand? In a lot of things. Most, more things that most people are strong in, but fashion is not one of my strongest aspects, although I think that I dress probably 80% better than most people, 80% better than people I know, and probably 95% better than the city where I live. That was very modest of me. You are welcome. Yeah, let me know what trends do you like at the moment. We are in September 2024, in case you're watching this video after that. Yeah, let me know. Let's have a fashion talk, you know, as well as a perfume talk. Every comment is welcome, please, okay? This, guys, if I had to define fall in one perfume, it would be this. This is Hermès L'Ombre, L'Ombre, okay, des Merveilles. It's this one, Mena Chords, Amber, Vanilla, Woody, Patchouli, Balsamic. It smells, guys, incredible. It smells incredible. It smells... The notes are, are correct. Like, amber, vanilla, woody, patchouli, amber, balsamic. It's a little bit vintage. It's, it has the Eau de Merveille uh, signature. The best for fall. If you need one perfume for fall, I would say it's this one. Go try it out and yes, and it has a vintage vibe. I love it. Then what do we have? Replica by the fireplace. <laughs> okay, guys, I had a fire in my apartment uh, now how many years ago? In 2019, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Um, I cannot wear this at home anymore. I can only wear this when I'm outside because it triggers... Leave me alone. It triggers uh, anxiety in me. Uh, so... But let me read you the accords. Woody, vanilla, balsamic, warm, spicy, amber, powdery, nutty, musky, uh, soft, spicy, sweet. S guys, it smells like you're drinking uh, uh, an alcoholic beverage next to the fire. It smells too much like fire. Like when you smell it like this, it smells like sweet vanilla fire. I don't want any fire next to me anymore. Thank you so much, okay? So yeah, guys, I'm gonna have to rush because I have to leave in five minutes, literally, and I have to still pack my bag. Guys, I am obsessed with Speedies at the moment from Louis Vuitton. And it's such a thing to say for... I'm gonna be judgmental now. Usually people who say that Speedies are their favorite bag, and it's not my favorite bag at all, are people who can only afford Speedies. But no, I actually, at the moment, love Speedies. And I feel like they are really, really trendy, that they are coming back. And yeah, I have loads of speedies. I don't know how many, but minimum like four or five. Uh, then, spl spl uh, Splendid Bronze uh, from Zara. I recommend it uh, a lot. I think it is better. It, it's, uh, it's better than the reformulation of Mugler Alien. It smells like the original. Uh, OG Alien from Thierry Mugler, okay? The first formulation. I don't understand why Zara is already has done already three releases of that and every time they change packaging and it's like a 20, um, 20 euro perfume. So do you see Zara has the budget to be so innovative with packagings when there is some brands that sell their perfumes for 500 and never change the packaging. So yeah, I don't know why they do that though. I don't know if the third formulation of this is the same as this one, but I got the original one and it smells exactly like Alien. Very affordable. Guys, I gate kept that until all my friends did a stock. Now go buy it. Splendid Bronze at Zara. It's just in the new packaging, but it's the same name. 
Then I have two uh, that I'm gonna get out of the way, way quite, quite quickly. So, uh, this guys. This is from Latafa and it's called Eternal Wood. Okay? This is a Maison Francis Kurdijan Grand Soir uh, dupe. It's not exactly the same scent, but the main accords are amber, vanilla, sweet, powder, and fruity. I would say it's mainly amber and vanilla. It is unisex. It's kind of like a cinema, not cinema, theater kind of perfume. Works for men, works for women, just like uh, easy reach for fall, very affordable, so yeah. And then I have an alternative for L'Interdit. If you don't have the budget to buy this, buy this. This is La Tafa. Fuck her. Not fuck her, okay. Fuck her. Rose gold, okay. It's the white bottle with the rose gold packaging. And uh, the notes are uh, white floral, floral, tuberose, fruity, sweet, animalic, woozy. It is a dupe for L'Interdit, okay. So uh, I definitely recommend it, uh, get it, and uh, I like it. I think it's similar, I would say, yeah, 90% dupe, so yeah. This one lasts better, and I don't know if it's just the price talking, but I think that they are very similar, guys. Like, honestly, if you don't want to buy this, buy this, okay? Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am like this because I am. First of all, late. Second of all, my PMDD started. And third of all, I have so much to do and I have to leave in five minutes, if not before. How am I gonna do that? By telling you goodbye already? Bye guys! Subscribe to my channel, like or dislike this video, activate the notification bell. And talk in my comments, please, okay? It helps me a lot. See ya! Bye!